Hey, I'm Adrian, and I use the he, him pronouns. Um, for me, as like a cis white guy uh, around microaggressions, it's mainly been to do with uh, queer issues as an out gay guy at work. For me, there's a few different ways it's come up sometimes. You'll run into like gendered expressions of what people expect of you. Sometimes there'll be behavior that's kind of anti-fam or anti-woman that can get directed towards gay guys as well, especially folks like me who maybe have a higher tone of voice or um, other visible queer representations. There's been cases where I've been excluded from gendered events um, in the work context. I've also had folks trying to, I guess, be friendly might be the way they'd put it, but asking too many questions or going too far in terms of what your relationships are like or what your family life is like in a way you wouldn't do with a straight colleague or someone who you thought was quote unquote normal. And that puts a lot on the queer person to kind of educate you or tutor you in a way that might not be appropriate. When you run into a microaggression like that, it's it just makes you kind of pause and feel uncomfortable. Uh, often I felt excluded or, or unsafe because you're not sure what your colleague is thinking. It could be that they're just genuinely not sure and interested, or uh, often as a queer person or someone else from a marginalized background, you're worried that there's a real discrimination fear there or a real chance that they may be thinking negatively about you in a way that could affect you personally or affect your work life and your relationship. When that happens to me, often the first thing I feel is disappointed because you're like, oh my God, this again. It's probably happened before and it'll probably happen to me again, but you were hoping it wouldn't happen in this workplace. This place would be different, right? So that's often a big reaction. Um, and, and then you get to decide what to do with it. If you're ready to try and educate a colleague, if you're ready to share resources, or if you don't have the energy and you're just gonna leave it the way it is. Because I don't, it's important we don't put it on the marginalized people to do that work.